So it was um, two years ago that uh, Mitchell played his last hockey game. He played as a uh, guest with the interns of Gallagher Kaiser. They needed a goalie and Mitchell was glad to play back in uh, August of two 2016. And um, unfortunately it was a month later that Mitchell was killed by a distracted driver. So last year when the um, Gallagher Kaiser interns were getting together to uh, play their um, annual internship game, they decided to dedicate the game to Mitchell. And that's when Play With Purpose was founded last year. The USA Hockey got involved with us this year and has now grown into a huge event. And we have, I think, 20 NHL stars and we have a lot of Division I players and a lot of USHL players and we've given out thousands of tickets and we're hoping for a great, great crowd. I'm here to do a national anthem in tribute to Mitchell and I want to remind everybody, don't text and drive. Drive with purpose, play with purpose. Being part of the Red Wing alumni, we try to be as many places as we can to help awareness in a lot of different causes, not the least of which is this one for distracted driving in these days with phones and texting and all the stuff that goes on. Uh, just we're, we're, we're happy to be here. It means a lot to me. You know, I think uh, coming out here and playing for someone that loved the game of hockey and was in an unfortunate accident by someone that was distracted driving, um, you know, I think it's a great cause for all of us to come out here and play for it. Well, I had a couple uh, old coaches and friends ask if I would come out. I love helping out the community, so anytime that I can do that, get back a little bit, I'm pleased to do so. Obviously, it's, it's for a great cause, and uh, it's a problem that affects everybody. When I was approached about it last year, I wasn't exactly sure what I was getting into as far as, uh, you know, the event that they have going on here, but the people that run it, it's, it's first class, everything um, that they do is first class, and then obviously what it stands for and, and the problem and the epidemic that we have going on with texting and driving. We don't want any more uh, families going through what uh, the Kiefer family's going through, and that's why they're starting it. Uh, this is how they're uh, working on their healing, and uh, the hockey family is uh, a close group of people, and uh, you know, we're all trying to do our part. So we call the game Play With Purpose, and our real purpose is to end distracted driving. So what we're trying to do with this event is not only have some fun, but also create awareness around the dangers of distracted driving. We're trying to get everyone to take the pledge, to put their phones down in the car, to focus on the road, to keep their hands on the wheel and the eyes on the road. When you're, when you're on the road, it's, uh, it's something that you, you want to make sure you're focused on your driving and you know, not taking your eyes off the, off the road because you're putting not only yourself in jeopardy, but other people too. I know that uh, in my family, nobody texts and drives. It is dangerous. You take your eye off the road for a couple seconds, you don't know what can happen. The terrible thing about distracted driving is uh, you know, cancer kills people, other diseases kill people, but, and we're looking for a cure. And the cure for distracted driving, we already have, right? It's just to stop doing it. We've been able to do a number of projects. One of the most notable is a project that we did jointly with uh, MDOT, the Michigan Department of Transportation. We um, worked with them to install cable guardrails in the area where Mitchell's uh, accident occurred. It's about a 1.7 mile stretch of highway uh, where Mitchell was hit and he was driven across a, uh, a median that was just 52 feet wide and at the time had no guardrail. And we put these cable guardrails in place in, uh, in a way that we thought was sort of a symbolic gesture. Uh, they were completed last September and those guardrails have been hit six times now. So there's six families that uh, are not going through what we went through because their loved one hit the guardrail and was not able to go into oncoming traffic.